it is my pleasure to welcome Mr. Charles Wilson. Thank you and good evening ladies and gentlemen. Tonight I'd like to present to you what I call the power of the mind. Hopefully, I'd like to think that you're going to remember what I'm about to show you for a long time to come. I would like the house lights brought up, please. Imagine for a moment that I'm a professional gambler and I'm going to play cards with you. I want you to watch very, very closely because the closer you watch, the less you'll see. I will need to walk amongst the tables, so if you could ensure that there's enough space for me to walk through, it would be greatly appreciated. In order to speed up the demonstration, I will only use a portion of the deck. Now, what's going to happen is this. I'm going to distribute the balance of the deck to some of you. With each card that I give you, I'm going to give you a number. It's critical that you remember this number. Perhaps those sitting next to you will help to remind you in case you forget. Okay, so let's speed it up. you number one, you're number two, you're number three, you're number four, you're number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, number eleven, and speed is of the essence here. What I want you to do in a moment is to randomly, when I click my finger, one at a time to hold your card up, call your number and your card, and I'll quickly attempt to memorize them. Okay? Until we've memorized the whole lot. So who's going first? Quickly. Eleven. Eleven. What, what card? Call the card at the same time, okay? Next one. Queen of Diamonds. Fifteen Twelve Queen of three. Diamonds. Twelve Three of Clubs. Twelve Three of Clubs, yes. Twenty-six Queen of Spades. Twenty-six Queen of Spades, yes. Queen, four of clubs. Put me to the test. What I'd like you to do, don't hold your card up. Call out a number randomly. I'll attempt to tell you a card, and if I'm correct, please hold that up in the air and verify. Just say yes, that I'm correct. Okay, who's going first? 26 is a black card. It's a spade. It's the queen of spades. Is that correct? Thank you. Yes. Anywhere. Come on. Number 20. Number 20 is a black card. It's a club. It's the five of clubs. Nine. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Nine. Nine. Nine is a red card. It's a heart. The five of hearts. Six. Anywhere else? Six. six. Not six. Six. Six is uh, a... <laughs> it's a black card, it's a spade, the seven of spades, is that correct? Now where the professional has an advantage is this. Having memorized the cards that are dealt over a course of several hands, it's infinitely easy for him now to know the balance of the deck. Thereby, knowing the percentage odds he has of achieving certain hands. I've asked two gentlemen to come up and assist me for a moment. Would you mind? Thank you. Stand behind the table, divide the, the balance of the de deck between the two of you, and I'll attempt to call the balance. You can shuffle them if you wish. And as I call each card, please take it out, show it to the audience, and lay it face down on the table. Make sure I can't see the cards. Okay, let's go. Let me have a quick look. Yes, let's start with the uh, Six of Diamonds, King of Hearts, the Three of Spades, the Ten of Clubs, the Eight of Clubs, the Jack of Hearts. For $500 if I'm wrong. That should be the Four of Spades. Is that correct? Yes. Fine. Give them a hand, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.